Hello ASS, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Brenda and this is Brandon. Hi. He is joining me today for a mukbang as you guys can see from the lovely food in front of us. We're having um, Indian food for today's video. Um, you guys could already probably tell from the title we are going to be or I'm going to probably end up be the one being the one reading it. Mm -hmm. We're going to be reading some um, scary stories that were submitted to me by my subscribers. So I hope that you guys are ready for that. And we're going to be eating at the same time or trying to at least. Yeah. But that is what we're doing today. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> He's just like, we've been setting this up for such a long time. <laughs> it was really hard to set this up. <laughs> we were God. trying to like get everything in the camera, which is something that we've been struggling with in past mukbangs but i mean it's not really a big deal this is not my most popular video i feel like not a lot of people even look yeah. forward to this but we like doing me. it it's because it's of me you know. just say it <laughs> <laughs> but we like doing it yeah. we enjoy doing it because then that way it's not just me talking to the camera by myself i mean either way i'm the same exact way i get nervous the exact same way but at least i get to talk to somebody about the stories because when i'm reading them and then i'm done reading them i don't have anything to say really half the time but yeah anyway we're gonna serve our food and then get started with the storytelling so mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get stuff <laughs> yes okay so let's break it down so we oh yeah Whenever you get Indian food, you have to get naan. So we got garlic naan, which is the superior naan. And then what'd you get? And then I had a chicken tikka masala. I wanted to just do the basic one. This one right here. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't really want to choose anything else. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, I am taller than her, but she has the cushion, so that's why it looks <laughs> like she's like the same height as me. Just had to clear that up. Buddy. <laughs> it's just. Uh. I hate you. <laughs> you can have the cushion. I don't want the cushion. I, I kind of like, like the feeling of like the bare, hard seat on okay. my ass. So <laughs> don't worry about me. Um, and then I got the lamb. What is it? I think I just got the basic lamb curry. Okay. Um, I've never tried it from this restaurant before, but it was uh, uh, just a shout them out. Mahal Indian cuisine. Uh, a local place, I think in Everett. So mm. if you guys are looking for places in Washington, we'll we'll let you know uh, based on <laughs> how good, good the food is. Yeah. But yeah, uh, and then we got some vegetable uh, samosas. What, samosas? Yeah, yeah, yeah samosas. <laughs> and then just some basic rice, some yeah. basic uh, basmati rice. It's not like the most, you know. Yeah. But I mean, it's food. We're gonna eat it anyway. We were trying to make like a good setup. <laughs> But whatever. <laughs> yeah. No more talking. I want. I want this food now. <laughs> okay. So, rice. You tell me when. <laughs> Let me try to look. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Take, take one of those. Hey. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and we also um, tried this for the first time. I've never had this one. It's a Budweiser chelada, and this is a picante one. Mm -hmm. And then we put chamoy on it. Um, doesn't pair very well. I've seen a lot of people do it, but I didn't really like it. Plus, I don't really like tomato juice, and I know that I don't like tomato juice, but I still wanted to try it because I'm just not good. <laughs> just just not good. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna get Yeah, you, you can serve curry. curry. I don't know how much you like. I'm just gonna put it on the side. Ooh. Is it uh, chunky? Good yeah, pieces of meat? Yeah, chunky. Yeah. Dude, I'm really excited to try one of these out, though. I've never had these before. I don't think I have either. Okay, I think that's good for now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put more later anyway. All right, as always, we're gonna eat a little bit and then we're gonna get to it, okay? Don't don't get impatient with me. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> this is a good crunch. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. 
Tell me what you think it reminds you of. I'll tell you mine. Mm. What it reminds me of? Yeah. Does it give you like... Like any memories of anything? Possibly a 7-Eleven. Are the Kudos? Right? It's like the same texture and like the same taste. Mm -hmm. And I love 7-Eleven taquitos. I'm not even knocking 7-Eleven mm -hmm. taquitos. I would never. I used That's to go so get good. them all the time after school. Yeah. After church, um, we would all go down to 7-Eleven. we get Slurpees and then we get mm -hmm. the taquitos. That was like a tradition. Mm -hmm. So good, man. Oh, yeah. Which one do you want? Uh, the I'll take, one take the little one. Is this the lemon I got? Yeah. Strawberry lemon cascade lemon. sparkling ice. Mmm. That's good. That's good. And that's very good. I like it. So, <clears throat> today I only have three stories for you guys so don't be mad at me that's all i have for today um but yeah so i only have three <coughs> Ooh, mom's height this is spicy water <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. don't die now i'm not <laughs> only three stories though yeah i think one of them is pretty long so hopefully that makes up for it now some Make sure you give the video a like so I know that you like these kinds of videos. And if you give it a thumbs up, <laughs> I mean a thumbs down, then I know that you don't like them. But don't do that. Just don't. Just tell me in the comments. <laughs> or if you're one of my subscribers, you guys love doing thumbs down. So <laughs> try to do the opposite and mm. uh, like it. <sighs> Preparing myself to read. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so this first one is sent to me by Magali Robles and she says hi Brenda I just want to thank you for sharing my story up on your mukbang. Mine was about the perverted ghost. Hello. <laughs> I Love your content and I wanted to share some more stories once again This happened to me about 20 years ago when I was six or seven We remember the perverted ghosts, right? Yeah, that was my favorite story <laughs> Um, all right, it's called he just wanted to play <laughs> Same ghost? <laughs> I don't think so oh, okay. <laughs> But somebody wants to play it Chucky oh. or something. <laughs> what an enticing title <laughs> It says as a child I used to spend the weekends at my godparents house They had no children of their own so they used to spoil me all the time I had picked out a toy of Tommy Pickles from the Rugrats. It was called Read and Play Tommy. It came with a book and had a pen attached. It would read out loud when you touched the sentence of the book. Similar to those leapfrog learning books. I remember those. Mm -hmm. I had my own room and remember going to bed one night, only to be somehow woken up by this loud raspy voice. He said, Let's play a game. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I remember being confused at first and then terrified after it spoke again. Only this time he said, I want to play. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine? I know. I'll throw that shit so out the needy. window. <laughs> I remember yelling at my tia and telling her to take the doll away because it was talking. <laughs> Sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> I was like, where are you going? <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm scared. Um, she put it in the bathroom, and I don't remember much about that night after that. I believe the toy could only speak when the pen touched the book. Although it was one of his, one of his catchphrases, catchphrases, it was still, it was still scary as fuck. Thank you. She said, I spoke to my tia about it when I was older and I asked if she remembered and if it was all true. And she replied, Si, sí, mija, todavía me acuerdo. Lo tuve que tirar porque había noches que hablaba a las menos doce y decía que si querías jugar con él. 
translation. <laughs> she said, yes, I still remember. I had to throw it away because at night it would, it would start talking at midnight and it would ask if somebody wanted to play with him. And then she says, I wish I could convince myself that it was a mechanical issue, but for him to only speak at 12 a.m., no ma'am. <laughs> And she says, I included a screenshot of my message with my aunt and a picture of the doll, in case you were wondering what it looks like. I think you can even find an old ad for it on YouTube. And then she shows. Ew. <laughs> oh, it's Tommy. Yeah, it's I Tommy forgot Pickles. it was Tommy Pickles. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy sings. <laughs> Tommy rhymes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> And she was, and then her aunt's like, yes, I remember. I still, I had to throw it away because it would start talking at midnight. So that's what he actually said was. It was one of his catchphrases, but it would I only. I remember that from the show. Was that something he said on the show? No, it's because it's a book, and then oh, he was just wanting to play with. Gotcha. Me. It's like an interactive <clears throat> thing. So yeah. I'm obviously I'll be putting the picture up on here yeah. so you guys can see it. So she's it's text message she sent her aunt. To ask about this doll. He looks freaky. <laughs> he looks terrible. Like, yeah. He's he, like, I want to play. He looks hopped up on caffeine. That's why he wants to wake up <laughs> at 12 and wake He's everyone like, come up. Come Yo, on. I got this new game. Come on, let's play. <laughs> Who wants to play? A little crackhead. That's so creepy. And the fact that your aunt went ahead and just threw it out <laughs> because yeah. saying that, I'd be like, um, yeah, we're going to throw that away. First off, just choose a better hour. <laughs> People will, are it's more like willing no to play if you play choose a minute. reasonable hour, like, I don't know, like 6 p.m. or something. <laughs> Not midnight. And, um, but imagine if it was, like, in the Annabelle movie, like, it mm. came back. Oh, yeah. Like, if she <laughs> threw it away and it came back, I would be like, oh, my God, you'll burn that shit. He comes back with the rest of the Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wanted to play. And they're all sitting on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so scared. It's funny that, like, ghosts would just choose any doll. Mm -hmm. Like, like Rugrats? I don't know. It's like Raggedy Ann Chucky. for Annabelle. <laughs> They'll just choose anything that they can mm -hmm. use. But I guess, I guess the point is, like, they want something that's unassuming. Mm -hmm. Something innocent. They don't want to get into the spookiest doll possible. No. Like, no one wants to talk. It's a scary looking doll. Mm -mm. Makes sense. That was a good story, though. That was creepy. I don't like that doll at all. Oh, yeah. Even if it didn't do anything, I'd be like, mm, get away from me. But thank you for sending that in. I enjoyed it. Good job. Good job getting haunted. <laughs> yeah. Do I have anything on my lip here? Yeah. What is it? I don't know what it is. It's Can't like, get it off. It looks like jam. But it's not that. It might be from the. Oh, it might be the chamoy. Chamoy. Yeah. God damn it! I got another paragraph in. Another essay. Let's go. <laughs> I'm hyped. Yeah. All right. Um, this one is sent to me by Jacqueline Macias. It says, "Hi there. I'm Jacqueline. Jacqueline or Jacqueline? I don't know." <laughs> So let's get started. I'm from California. I lived there till I was 13 and then moved to Calvillo, Aguascalientes, Mexico. I'm going to do them in order. Number one, this was in California. I was playing ball in the street with my friend and my friend threw the ball to an empty house next to our house. It's a beautiful house. It was just still not rented. So when I went for the ball, I looked inside the window and saw a foggy thing come down the stairs, and I was so shocked. But I don't remember being scared. I thought it was cool. Oh well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we were brave. I would be scared. <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> She's like, damn, what the hell? <laughs> That's some psychopaths, man. Jeez. <laughs> They're just brave. Brave, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was that experience for her. And then number two. This was in Mexico. When we arrived, we had nothing, no furniture. So one night, I was disobeying my dad by not going to bed and just being on the computer. And he came down saying, turn off the computer and go to bed. <laughs> and I acted like I did, but I went back. So then I hear someone come down again. And when I went to the, went to the kitchen to go upstairs, it was, wait, what? 
I was like, so confused. Yeah, it says, <laughs> went to the kitten. It says, went to the kitten. <laughs> I thought it meant <clears throat> kitchen, but it, then it doesn't make Maybe, sense. Maybe, yeah, she was just saying hi to the cat. It's <laughs> probably it. But she, yeah, she goes upstairs and it was nobody. I did us went back to the computer and I finally decided to go to bed. But the TV in my room was full blast and my brother wouldn't go open the door. And my parents wouldn't come out and regañarme, get me in trouble. So, um, so se me hizo fácil. It was easy for her and went downstairs and got towels and laid in the middle of the now sala. And when I started hearing things moving in the kitchen, all of a sudden my feet were tied down like I couldn't move them. And I was laying sideways, not on my back or stomach. When all of a sudden I started hearing dogs barking and then the crying started. It was a crying that would get trapped in the four walls. Wait, what? Hmm. I just started sweating and praying like no other and I kept my eyes closed until I woke up the next day. I was kind of getting confused at the layout that was happening here. Mm -hmm. I was like, when did you go back to the living room? Mm -hmm. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I'm a little lost. <laughs> I don't know, I think I read something wrong. But either way, something crazy happened where she couldn't lift herself up, even though she was laying on her back, which is weird. Mm -hmm. And then uh, number three, she says, in Mexico, the doors have windows, but with a print on the glass so you could not see through. So I come out of the shower and was changing when all of a sudden I see someone standing in the patio hallway for like three minutes and then ran towards my mom's room. The ghost was wearing an orange long sleeve, but the head I remember was gray. Oh, it's something different. Wow. It's not like a white dress or like a black dress. Yeah, it's like an a orange construction top. worker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I came out and was walking toward my mom's room and my mom came out wearing a green shirt and I asked, and my dad, she said, todavía no llega de los gallos. So he still hadn't come back. And I asked, and Sammy, her brother, she said, I don't know, out with his friends. And I was like, Ama, I acabo de ver alguien ahí parado. And which means I just saw someone standing there. And we both looked at each other and booked it downstairs. And we asked my tía about it, and she says, que siempre, que ahí siempre se aparece ese ghost. And she says, that that ghost always appears there. <laughs> Man, um, <laughs> people just get conditioned to just like not care. It's like oh, they're yeah. like, that's the usual. Oh yeah. Call me when something new happens. He's cool. <laughs> and she said, "Girl, tengo mucho más. I experienced a lot of stuff till I moved out. Let me know si quieres más." So she has a lot more. She wants to know if we want more. Oh, of course, yeah. we want more. Yes, give us <laughs> more details. I know, cause. Uh, I wasn't. I was a little bit confused at the second one. Maybe you can explain that to me. I, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, so, um, so then I hear someone come down again, and when I went to the kitten to go upstairs, it was nobody. I dead ass went back to the computer and finally decided to go back to bed, but the TV in my room was full blast, and my brother wouldn't open the door, and my parents wouldn't come out. Um. Um, okay. So she went down to sleep there because they were making too much noise, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. And then she didn't want her parents to come and get her in trouble. And then she said her feet were tied down. It yeah. felt like it. Like I couldn't move them and I was laying sideways, not on my back or stomach. Mm -hmm. When all of a sudden I started hearing dogs barking and then the crying started. It was a crying that would get trapped in the four walls. So um, only... She could hear it around her. Mm -hmm. I just started sweating and praying like no other and kept my eyes closed until I woke up the next day. Girl, same. <laughs> I'm sweating and praying all the time <laughs> for completely different reasons. But yeah, that's that's actually... You painted a really cool image with uh, the writing there. So mm -hmm. kudos to you. I like that. That was a good story. Yeah. Thank you for sending <clears throat> that in. Okay. I'm gonna just read the last one. Alright, it says, Hi there, my name is Alfredo Sanchez. I follow your YouTube channel. 
Okay, well, I have a few stories to share back from when I used to live in Mexico when I was a kid. This story took place in the state of Tamalupi. Tam <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm sorry, that sounds made up. <laughs> Tam oh. Tamalipas. Okay. There you go. Where, where I'm from. I grew up in a small little town out in the county. In the county. <laughs> I could read. I know how to read. You said county. <laughs> <laughs> It's because I was trying not mm. to say country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> County. Um. <laughs> that's that's going in. <laughs> stop. Say <Sister>. stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When I was young, I was always out at friends' houses playing ball. Um. Oh, uh, playing ball. Okay, <laughs> that was supposed to be a period. Yeah, a lot of ballers. In your, your stories. <laughs> I know. This day, I was at one of my friend's house playing baseball. He lived just by a wooded area all around, so the backyard of his house was a massive wood forest. As we were playing baseball that evening, oh, it was like twilight. Mm. <laughs> I remember it was getting late, almost dark already, but we were still playing, and by we, I meant a good amount of people. It was like eight to 10 of us. I don't remember it that well, but, okay, all of a sudden, we noticed rocks being thrown at us. At first, we thought it was one of us, but then we realized it was coming from the forest, and we were playing at the front of the house. Wa the rocks were a big size. It could have easily knocked one of us out. Instantly. It was just crazy, like if someone wanted to hurt us. So damn scary. I ran inside his house, and um, just as I was stepping in, I heard the sound of small rocks rolling inside the house. So it's like it chapter one, where they're just throwing <laughs> boulders at each other across the creek. Yeah. <clears throat> it was banging the roof hard. Anyway, his dad grabbed the machete and ran to the woods with, with a flashlight, but didn't find anyone. I was like 14 at the time, and it still scares me just to think about it. Anyway, I hope you like it. Your friend, Alfredo, from Houston, Texas. All Thank right. you, Alfredo. Who the hell was doing that? Got some hoodlums. <laughs> Got some no no good doers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder how they would have... If it was just one person... I want to know how many rocks were involved. Yeah. Did you count? <laughs> <laughs> because there was like a lot at once and there was just one person. I'd be like, alright, no. That's got to be some weird, some weird going on in there. Like when you threw like a handful of pebbles on the <gasps> playground at kids. You guys have like playgrounds with... The pebbles, or did you guys have, like, the wood chips? I had the wood chips. Okay, so you guys had, like, a good school. Okay, <laughs> just checking. So we had, like, just straight-up gravel. <laughs> this is a private school, too. Oh I don't know God. what the budget was. But, yeah, we just checked those at kids. And, like, kids would, like, slip off the monkey bars, and they would fall into the gravel. They would have, like, cuts and bruises. <laughs> and everyone just got conditioned that, 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 that this was fine. And I just remember, this has nothing to do with this story, by the way, but I remember a kid fell off. His whole like knees were scraped. They were like bleeding. He's like, oh whatever. <laughs> he just ran off and started playing kickball. I was like, wow. I love this What a this brave school. man. So yeah. I mean, child. <laughs> what a brave man. He's a forty-year-old man on the monkey bars. Yeah. I mean, that happens so. too. <laughs> that was a really interesting story though, because I wonder what it could have been, especially if you're. Um, I think you said it was your friend's dad. If he went out there right as soon as this was happening, trying to find whoever the hell was throwing rocks at you, and there was nobody. But also, if it's a lot of wooded area, it's kind of hard to find anyone in there. As soon as they yeah. start running, like, where could you even look first? Yeah. But, I mean, why would they just all of a sudden roll up to somebody's backyard and see a bunch of kids playing, and he's like... I'm gonna throw rocks at him. Yeah. I'm gonna hit that Boulders. kid right in the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rocks like like big enough to hit you over the head and knock you out. That guy must have had a really bad day. Though. Think about <laughs> it. Put it in perspective. Someone. Like how bad does your day have to be when you're throwing <laughs> rocks at children? Like That's bad. something must have happened. So we gotta see both sides here. <laughs> no, that guy's an asshole. And I like how we're saying it's a guy. Why does it have to be a guy? It could have been a girl. <laughs> It could have been a ghost. But it sounds like real guy behavior, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It, was, it could have been just like an entity, some kind of spirit, just trying to hurt you guys for real. But I, I feel I like know. I'm leaning more towards like it's probably just some kid 
Like some a hole. I'm kid. gonna say Bigfoot on this one. Yeah, you know what? That's a you know the wooded area. It, yeah, it, it wooded. really does. Yeah. Yeah, it, it makes sense. That sounds like his mo. Bigfoot. That's what Big- he's known for. <laughs> yeah. Big footprints and pegging kids in the head with rocks. Um, yeah. But yeah, thank you, Alfredo. That was a really good story, and I would like to know more. Just, I mean, I, how much more could I get from that other than him being... Did you guys call the police? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, somebody was throwing rocks at our kids. The cop's <laughs> like, yeah, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want? Big deal. <laughs> Had a bad day. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that is going to be it. That is the third story. And I don't have many more, so make sure that you guys keep submitting them to me to my email down here below it's um beyond paranormal at gmail.com so that i can do more videos like this not just only mukbangs just reading more stories because i think a lot of you do like the um stories that are submitted to me by my subscribers so if you guys want to you know hear more ask anybody that you know to send in some more stories to me so i could read those for you but yeah that is going to be it you want to plug your channel or anything? No, I'm okay. <laughs> I put him um, at the end of all of my videos in the end screen. So if you guys do want to go check out his channels, he does his channels, channel <laughs> one. Yeah. He does a lot of like movie stuff and reviews and all of that nonsense. So yeah. if you guys are interested in that, Is go check nonsense him out. Or? Yeah, nonsense. Yeah, it's just nonsense. <laughs> that no one's really interested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm going to cry on camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But, um, yeah, guys, that is going to be it from us. Um, before I do end the video, today's comment shout-out goes to this person right here. Psh, psh. Thank you so much for leaving a nice comment. As always, I really do appreciate it. And if you want to be the next comment shout-out, all you have to do is leave me a nice comment down below, of course. And that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, babe, for being on my video. Yeah, I no problem. It. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay safe and be kind. Bye.